this is, well, it was meant to be my December empties, but it's kind of my January empties. I think today's the, today's January 23rd, so it's like, there's a couple days left of January, but I never got around to doing December, so we're going to call this December and January. Um, and I've been trying to upload more, but I got a new phone, which was a downgrade, because Cricut is stupid, and it's like, your phone's not going to work anymore, and it kept redirecting my calls. Because they're getting rid of 3G, but my phone was a 4G phone? So I downgraded to a crappy 4, 3, 4G phone that has crappy picture quality and like no apps on it. So temporary-ish. I don't know how long it'll be till I get a proper phone. But point being, I can only really use Alex's phone to record videos or upload videos or anything like that. So I probably won't be posting a lot. Sorry. I'm going to dig into this because there's a lot. Alex is over there. He didn't want to be on camera, but he is in voice range so he can talk about the things he wants to talk about. Um, this is the AOA Studio Blender Vault. This had like six different kinds of makeup sponges in. So the, um, the mini mochi ones, um... Those are like the little bitty ones. I just pack those on my cousin because I don't really use the little bitty ones. Uh, the microfiber one was nice. I've used it before, but microfiber sponges aren't my favorite. So I probably wouldn't buy it again. Let's see. I think the mochi was the orange one. I did really like that. Um, I might buy it again. The Silly Dip, uh, it's right here actually. Uh, this was fine, but like it's... If you can see, it's silicone on this half, and the top half is not. The top half is the part I use, so for one, the silicone was pointless to me. And for two, when you get it wet, okay, don't take this the wrong way, but it looks like you're trying to fit in a pair of jeans that's a size too small for you. It, it looked like the poor sponge was uncomfortable, and I get that it's an inanimate object, but I felt bad for it. Um... So it was also like starting to get some rips around the top of the silicone because of that. So this was fine, but I don't need to buy it again. Um, the, what they call the AOA OG, the black one, that's the one I'm using right now. I do like it, but it's a bit firm. I would use it except for, I already know, the super soft one, the pink one. I love those. I already have a package of like a bunch of them. So that's probably why I wouldn't buy the orange one and definitely why I wouldn't buy the black one because I'm going to buy the pink ones. But this set was really cool. I got this because of Jen from Jen Loves on YouTube. Um, this was fun to play with. I enjoyed it. Um, and those pink sponges, highly recommend. Any, Honestly, if any of their sponges are the type you like, I would recommend trying them because they're stupid cheap. Um, most, if not all the time, part of the proceeds go to support animals that need homes and stuff. And... They're all really good quality for what they are, it's just, I don't use every type of sponge, if that makes sense, so, this was good. Would recommend. Okay, uh, personal makeup wipes. These have actually replaced my Trader Joe's ones as my favorites, plus coming in a multi-pack with a 14-year-old who also loves makeup, and... While I generally have, like, a ton of eyeliner and foundation to scrub off, Ro usually has, like, eyeshadow all around here. I don't know how this kid does it. It always looks amazing. But these seem to do a really good job. I've only heard good things from Ro. So I'll probably continue to buy these big packages. I, I still have plenty, so I don't need to buy any right now, though. Have you used these, babe? Pretty effective on swatches too. I mean, they're good overall. <coughs> there's probably more of those in here. Honestly, there's probably like five empty packages in Ron's room. But we won't talk about that. Yeah. Speaking of Ron, um, Ro got these for their own money. Um, so these are the Ion Permanent Brights Cream Hair Color. The first one is Winter Green. Which was supposed to be green, right, dear? Yeah. And there was a swatch at Sally's that was green. And um, 
This came out blue. Rowan was not happy. Um, so this is still laying about our house, but I'm pretty sure this would not get bought again. These are the kinds of hair colors that you mix with the developer. Pretty sure this shade would not be bought again. Um, this other one is titanium. I, I didn't hear any solid opinions one way or the other about this one. I, I tried to ask if this one would get bought again and it was kind of like a mm -hmm, kind of noise. So I, I think this is a maybe, but I guess we'll just have to see. The bottle of developer is huge, so like we've got two bottles of developer, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, do we have another box of Q-tips? Oh, maybe we do. I need the Q-tips. It's not your food. Here. We used up a giant thing of Q-tips. Uh, they don't have to be brand name. I usually just get Q-tips from like wherever I'm doing shopping. And I think this was the only box we had, so I need to buy more, right? Yeah. Okay, so I need to buy Q-tips. So I'm gonna set that over here. Um, <coughs> those are brand names, so they work great. Do you have any opinions on that? No. Except for you use them a lot. <coughs> What is with my sneezing? Am I suddenly allergic to you, fat cat? Um, Don't stay out of your brother's food. You're on we a We used diet. a bottle of Batiste dry shampoo. This is the tropical. Um, Rose seems to like this. We go through it like five times as fast now because we have a teenager. Um, I know this is Alex's favorite, right, dear? Yeah. Do you have anything you want to say? Mm. It works really well. And it's extremely frustrating when more than one person in the house uses it. This is Aries. He's not on a diet. I uh, Well, he is. He's on a diet to gain weight. Yeah. I like how the new packaging is like matte. It just makes me happy. Um, so obviously you can get this at Ulta, but you can also get it at Walmart. And a lot of times Ibotta has um, offers for a Batiste, so you can get a good deal at Walmart sometimes. And... You can do Walmart delivery or pickup or whatever and still get I bought it to work. So I think I have one of these in my Walmart cart, but I need to double check and make sure I get another one. We already have one more open, but I try to keep a backup. <coughs> <coughs> Always because I use it once in a while, but Alex's hair is very oily leaning and I don't think Rose is super oily but it gets poofy like on purpose Ro does that on purpose but it gets poofy and this really helps with that so yeah i always have to keep one around okay um i got this for alex i was at dollar general with mom and river and this was down clearance it's just a christmas calories don't count fresh baked cookie candle it smelled so nice I didn't smell anything from this, but my nose has issues with scents. I really need something to punch me in the face if I'm going to be able to smell it. So. But it didn't throw worth a flip. It was just very disappointing. It burned well, but I had to baby it. Like, the wicks kept tipping over and like, drowning themselves. It was like a whole thing. So, like, I... Are they I, depressive wicks like me? I think they were worse than you, honestly. <laughs> so, um... <coughs> Yeah, I had to baby it, but I think it was a decent candle, but like Alex said, it didn't throw. But I mean, it was like two fifty or something, so it was just a whim that I got for Alex because I thought he'd enjoy it. So not something to buy again? No. This was from Target. This was, they had these um, Zodiac candles, so I got this one just because it's mine. And also, it's supposed to be warm amber and coconut scented, which are two scents that I really like. I did like the scent of this, but for me at least it was a really light scent, so I don't know that I would buy it again, but um, I'm going to see if Alex can clean out the jar for me and still preserve the label, and I'll probably use it for like makeup brushes or something, but what did you think of this one? It's okay. It wasn't really my thing. Okay. I started it in the bedroom and it was so light that I figured I might as well use it out here. Yeah, it's really weak. I like those really powerful candles. Um, everybody hated this. This was Art like... Co. Cactus Texturizing Shampoo. Um, I'm wrong, I like that. So, I got this because of Hannah Louise posting here on YouTube. 
Um, my hair was just not a fan of the whole texturizing the shampoo situation in the first place, which was the first time I used one, so okay, that's fine. Um, River's hair, I could use this. When Rover moved in, came with um, a Dove texturizing shampoo and conditioner. Those, especially the conditioner, are amazing in River's hair. You've seen me talk about those before. This with River's hair, I could use it, but then the next time I washed her hair, I'd have to use something else, like specifically use something else. Otherwise, it would just get weird and tangly. Um, Ro likes texturizing shampoo. Like I said, the whole poofy hair situation. Hated this. Hated it. I asked them if they liked it at all. No, 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 no. Don't buy that again. That sucked. Did you, I know you have opinions about this too, don't you? Yeah, when I had hair, it made it look awful. <clears throat> yeah. Just made it really flat and basically made my scalp oil go into overdrive. So yeah, nobody in our house, none of <coughs> us has hair like this. Um, this is bubble bath. We, we use this fancy expensive shampoo <laughs> up as bubble bath for the little one, and it worked fine for that. Yeah. Um, you know, make good bubbles, got her clean, all of that. It says it has UV protection, so I don't know if that did anything in a bubble bath, but that's how we used it up. Would never buy this again. <laughs> uh, Summer's Eve Island Splash. Um, this is just something we keep around. Everybody uses it at some point for various things. It works great on guys too, especially stinky ones. Um, or like if you've been to the gym or stuff like that. Um, I thought it was the same scent, but it's not. But I have a two pack that I got from when we still had a Sam's membership, like right before it went ran out. I like stocked up on some stuff. So I've already got another one. I've already got a backup. We always have some kind of summer's eve. Just I highly recommend not buying the sport kind because the sport kind has some kind of mint in it and um everybody was unhappy with that so i started using it as bubble bath don't use it as bubble bath river had a rash i was that was stuff so i said but the regular kind is good and we always keep it around the only complaint i would have like if i could talk to the company the only complaint i would have is that even when it's closed properly you can't store it like this because it leaks all out which the 14 year old hasn't learned yet um, but yeah, this is good stuff. Do you have opinions? Nothing that you haven't already said. Okay. It's very refreshing, I guess. Um, these are the pads I like. Um, I've got my birth control set up where I only have my period theoretically once a year, but that's the whole situation we're not going into. Um, these are the L Chlorine Free Ultra Thin Pads. Um, at first I used to have these at Target, and now they have them at Walgreens and Walmart too, at least around me. So, I like that these are getting, like, more spread out. Because if you look on the back, I'm not going to read all this to you. I've talked about it before. But, but they're really good company, or at least they do good things. And if you're allergic to latex, they actually tell you the materials in this. And they, I don't have any sensitivity with them. They're really good ones. So, these are what they are. I think I have a pack of these in my Target cart. I need to double check because I need to get some more. Um, I already have another pack in the bathroom, but I just like to have a backup. It, that's just, if you've noticed, that's how I function with things. But yeah, these are really nice. Um, this is another one of Rowan's. Wella Color Charm Permanent Liquid Hair Toner in Lightest Ash Blonde. I think this got used up, but I'm not sure. I I think this was fine, but Ro didn't really say anything about it, so I guess it was fine. Um, this is the Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen 30 Plus. Um, this was not what I normally buy. This was good. I got this when Alex was working at the community college around here outside a lot and it was like fall or winter so I couldn't find hardly any sunscreen um like there was sunscreen but I always get one that's reef safe because yes I live in the midwest but you know water systems and stuff eventually gets to the ocean 
so we always make it a point to get reef safe sunscreen this was literally the only reef safe sunscreen i could find at that time of year um this is mostly empty thanks to band camp last year but it went off this month actually so sunscreen is one thing that i pay super close attention to the expiration dates on so um the bottle also turns blue in uv light it's like water resistant stuff this is a good sunscreen um everybody that used it didn't get burned but i usually get the bear this brand bear republic brand and the spray kind i had a batch of that um that i moved in but it goes off later this year so i'll be buying more later but i this isn't my go-to brand, but I wouldn't be opposed to buying this brand if this is all I could find again. Um, this is good stuff. We just, I like the other brand and its smell and its sprayability better. Do you have opinions on this? You used a lot of this. Kill me from getting burned. It did its job. So. Yeah. I never knew it turned blue in UV light. That's cool. Yeah, not the sunscreen, just the bottle, but yeah. yeah. I remember getting it on the inside of the door quite a bit. Yeah. Um, so this is the Bear Republic Mineral Sunscreen Lotion for Face, SPF 70. Uh, there's a label from Bandcamp with our last name on it, sorry. But this uh, went off in December. I need to buy more of this. My only problem with this is it's like this big two ounce tube. And even with Roe using this in Bandcamp, it's like it's down to here and that's it. And it just feels so wasteful. But it's gone off, right? But, but it's gone off, so I have to toss it. So I wish they had smaller ones. But I do appreciate that they have SPF 70. Everybody in this house is pale with everything. <coughs> Alex gets tan, but he's the only one. The rest of us turn red. So um, high SPF sunscreen is a thing. I like this a lot. Um, it's like a silicone feel, which I enjoy, and it works well in your makeup. Um... So yeah, I'm pretty sure I have this in my Target cart. They used to sell this at Ulta, but I guess they stopped. But I'm pretty sure I have this in my Target cart. I need to double check because I need to get it in a bottle. I have a lot of stuff I need to order from Target, y'all. Uh, Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Butter. Oh, this is amazing. Trader Joe's Body Butter is like my favorite go-to anyway, but this was like, it smells like Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. Oh, this is so good. I'll pretty much buy whatever they have currently going if I needed body butter which I don't I have tons well not tons I have a moderate amount now we're working through it slowly but this was awesome if they come out with a scent again I'll buy like two or three because this was really really good opinions it spread really well on Anne it seemed to keep you nice and moisturized soft and stuff Tell with the itchiness you tend to get as your skin dries after you get out of the shower too. Yeah, he's in charge of lotioning my legs, so that's why he has opinions about how it works. And I'm just like, it smells good. And your back, and your hips, and your butt. Yeah, mostly my legs. <laughs> well, I mean, that is like 90% of your body. <laughs> this is a Revlon Color Silk After Color Conditioner. This came with one of Rowan's hair dyes. Um, so I just used it as like a deep conditioner. It was a nice deep conditioner. I, I still say that hair dye conditioners that come in the box with hair dye should, um, you should be able to buy them separately. They're really nice, but, um, Bath and Body Works Fresh Sparkling Snow Shower Gel. Oh, I love this. This is like a new favorite scent. I've got to put this on my, um, must have scent list because this was amazing. It says, um, Fragrance notes, ice pear, frozen melon, winter apple, snowdrop blossom, and frosted musk. I don't know, but it was really good. Like, I love this. I, opinions? Barely remember it. Yeah, but it's Bath and Body Works, and it's like good quality soap. You always like this one on my skin, I know that. But yeah, this is good. Definitely have to have this. Sorry. <laughs> um, Glade Hawaiian Breeze. This was nice. No complaints. I tend to buy these because they're cheap and they work. But the last time I bought some, what we're using right now is a Febreze one. And it's like apple something. And I've had both kids tell me, including the four-year-old, 
how good of a smell it is and that I have to buy it again. And I think you told me that too. And I also really enjoy it. So I guess if I can find that again, we're probably gonna be buying that, but I usually just get whatever. Do you have opinions on this? It smells okay, I guess. Okay. <laughs> um. I like how Aries is just gonna colonize the other end of the lounger. This is Target brand of, does this have a compare to? I don't know, 12 hour cough relief. We call this orange stuff. Um, this is a necessity in my house because I'm very prone to bronchitis. And used to, I would have to go to urgent care and get like the prescription cough syrup and then I would have to go back to get a refill and it was a thing. And you can't have that when you're pregnant. I am not pregnant. But when I was pregnant with River, um, they told me I could take this. And it, when I'm full into the bronchitis, it doesn't work as well, but it works just as well to head it off. So when I can feel it starting, I'll start taking this for a day or two and it'll get it gone before it gets bad. I mean, it's good for other stuff too, but that's the main reason, like this is a must have in our house. So, this went off in December, but I had like one dose left, so I just finished it off the end of December, I think. And we have another bottle, and I just get it from wherever, and I always get the off-brand, and it works fine. Do you have opinions? Mm -hmm. That goes there. Um, I'm trying to find something you will have opinions on. Here's another candle. This one Alex picked out. Uh, Bath and Body Works Leaves. I think you said you want me to buy this again. So. Um, yeah, he picked this out. There was a really good sale, so I got him some of the little ones because these little ones throw like mad. Like, our apartment's really tiny anyway, but I can put one of these on the kitchen counter and it'll fill up the kitchen, the hallway, the entryway, the living room, and like halfway into the bedroom. Like, they're good things. Um, so I think Alex said this was a new must have scent for him. Um, all of these candles, I'll put them on the warmer and get the rest of the scent out, and then, like, I'll either dump the wax out and put it in the recycling, or clean it out and keep the jar, or whatever. Um, okay, this is Function of Beauty Shampoo, um, where you, like, make your own shampoo formula and everything. And this was fine, but my hair didn't love it. I did end up getting a refund for this because it was fine and my hair didn't love it. And I'm glad I got the refund because as I continued to use it, my hair started actively disliking it. So everybody else used it a little bit, but it wasn't made for their hair and it was fine. But um, this honestly ended up getting used up as bubble bath. So not something I would do again. It does smell really nice and it was purple, which was awesome. But plus it's like, I only needed the shampoo. And if you go by like price per ounce or whatever, it's way more expensive to get just a small bottle of shampoo. Like the most cost effective way is to get a giant bottle of shampoo and conditioner, which I did not need. So that was also irritating. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to trying another brand of like custom shampoo, but I wouldn't buy the Function of Beauty again. Did you use this? Did you have opinions? It didn't really work for my hair either. Yeah. It made it really flat. It's not good. Um. My sense of smell isn't really all that good right now. I can taste okay. I got the Trader Joe's Advent Calendar this past year like I always do. This is the Exfoliating Sugar Cube. This is fine. I don't really love these. Even if they sold them, that's not something I would buy. <coughs> Uh, this is the hair mask that was in there. That was really nice. And I don't know if this is the same one that they normally sell in a tube because that's one of my favorites. But um, if they sell this, I would buy it. They did have a set for Christmas time that had a tub hair mask. I do have that, but I haven't tried it yet. But this was super nice. Um, if they decided to sell this full size, I would buy it. It's really nice. Vanilla bean, hello. It is not that time yet, Layla. Get over it. Uh, Bath and Body Works with Noel Gentle Gel Hand Soap. 
Uh, this is actually a gift. As everybody knows, the scent notes are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, and sugar cookies. Um, vanilla bean Noel is a must-have scent in this house. We all love it. I don't normally buy the gel soaps, but like I said, this was a gift. I normally buy the foaming soaps. Um, I may or may not buy this in a hand soap, but I already have a shower gel of it in the shower. I have backup, so this is a must-have scent for us. Opinion? Yeah, that's a really, really good smell. That's yeah, good hand soap. That's actually the, the scent of shower gel I used last night. Um, this was also a gift, hot chocolate bomb. I, I never used one of these, and it was cool for what it was. It's not really my thing, because you kind of need warm milk for it, and I, I'm more of a put water in with my hot chocolate milk kind of person. However, I did also happen to see these at the store on sale after Christmas, and I did pick up one for a good friend of ours, because he is a weirdo milk in the hot chocolate powder kind of person. So I haven't heard yet if he liked it, but this isn't really a thing for me, but I think he would like it. What's that? Okay. <laughs> um, Pet Pleasant Oatmeal Pet Shampoo. We got this for Layla because she gets really itchy and Alex's mom suggested oatmeal shampoo. I just found this on Amazon. Um, <coughs> this seems to work pretty well on her and we've already got another bottle. Opinion? It seemed to work pretty good on her, yeah. I think if I let it, if I had let it soak into her fur for longer, it probably would have worked a bit better, but. This is good. Um, Dr. Teal's Epsom Salt Bio Scrub is fully renewed with eucalyptus and spearmint. Um, this is a Rowan thing. I would not repurchase for me. It's way too minty, but Ro loves minty stuff. So this is like, I've been informed a must have. Pretty sure this isn't my target cart, but I need to double check because I have to get another one for the must have for the 14 year old. Um, Mueller Kinesiology Tape. I normally buy the K Tape brand, but we always have K Tape around because I have EDS and it's helpful. Um, I think I had this because I had a coupon for it, but this works fine. I just generally buy the um, K Tape brand. Opinions? Sorry. <laughs> um, a Colgate Extra Soft Junior Toothbrush. River got this, I think, from school and is currently using it and likes it. But it's fine. We don't need toothbrushes until after the next apocalypse, so it, it doesn't really matter what I would buy. We didn't use all of these toothbrushes up in a month. I just normally keep the packaging until after we use one up and then I put it in here but I just kind of cleaned out that and dumped a bunch of stuff in here so um this is an Oral B toddler toothbrush Mickey and Minnie that I think she got from her dentist she does like these that might actually yeah, excuse the grittiness but she goes through toothbrushes faster because she's four and um that happens but she does like these but she doesn't have fine have a difficult time with a normal kid's toothbrush either, so that's that. I think we can recycle that. Um, Assured Soft Toothbrushes. These are fine. I think that's what Alex is using right now. They're fine. Don't need to buy toothbrushes. Um, an Oral B Healthy Clean. Is this Ro? Ro needed a new toothbrush. So I don't know if this is the one that Ro got, this is a medium one, or if this is the one that Layla is using. But either way, it's fine. Do I have any more stinking toothbrushes in here? No, but I do have another hair thing. Um, Ion Color Brilliance Cream Toner in Lavender Moon. This was Ro's. Um, there was some left in the container, but it got, like, cracked, so I I think this was fine. I didn't hear any complaints about it or raves, so. Um, I was doing my end of year medicine drawer clean out, and these, I had the CVS Health medicated heat patch that was 
about to go off. So Alex had a really long day at work, so we could like cut it in half and put it on his feet. So then something I normally buy, but it was a freebie a while ago. Opinion. Looks like it worked okay. Um, I was gonna use it on me, but it's capsicum, and we have theorized that I may be allergic or sensitive to that, so I was kind of scared too. Um, you really took care of me that night, so. Yeah, that's my job. I love you. I love you too. I have two of these Innisfree pore clearing clay masks, two times with super volcanic clusters. Um, like a face mask. This is nice, but it, it's like a, it's a clay mask, so it's a bit drying, and they're not my favorite. Like, I didn't have a problem with this, I just, clay masks aren't my go-to thing because they do tend to be drying, except for the pink ones, those are nice. Um, this is nice, but I don't need to buy it. Uh, and then they're Rowan. Revlon Color Silk Beautiful Color Natural Blue Black Hair Dye. Uh, this seemed to be fine. This came with them when they moved in. And we have a couple more in, in back stock, but I guess it's fine. I didn't hear any complaints. Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil Free Foaming Cleanser. I've already bought a backup of this. Um, everybody loves this. I really like this and I was going to repurchase it anyway because I liked it. And then Rowan fell in love with it and I'm pretty sure you love this too, don't you? Mm-hmm. So, it means we go through it faster but you really don't need that much. So, this is really good stuff. Um, it's kind of pricey but it's also kind of not. It's $28 but you need like the tiniest amount. It's very concentrated. And even with three of us using it regularly, it took months and months to go through. So, it's... I would say good value for me, but highly recommend. A little sample of Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Love this stuff, but um, it's stupid expensive and I don't need to buy it. I do love the scent. I've considered getting this in the perfume spray, but it's not like a... It's a scent I really enjoy, not a must-have scent, so I haven't done it yet, but it is a possibility in the future. Alex's Shea Moisture African Black Soap. This is a must-have in our house. We have more in back stock. He obviously already has another one open. It's not almost finished. As well as the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Facial Wash and Scrub. This is not the jelly one, this is the creamy one. This is a must-have in our house, too. He's got another one open, and I need to get another backup for him. Which I think is in my Walmart cart, but I need to check. Um, these did wonders on his body and face acne. He, there's a video on my channel that he did about it. Um, so, yeah, these have to be around. I'll, what do you have to say about these, babe? Watch the video. Uh, you can also find, like, large packs of the soap itself at, like, Costco. And I used to get them when they were like, buy one, get one half off at Ulta. And, but Sam's and Costco, Costco do have multi-packs of them, which is also a really good deal. The bar soap. Yeah. Anything else? No. Yeah. Um, I have some lip, liquid lipstick. I was cleaning through and these three have gone off. This is a Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in Video Vixen and Hexcellent. This is one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. These are both really pretty shades. I just haven't been using liquid lipsticks much. I mean, I have been using lip products a lot because of masks anyway, but like I've been more in a cream mood than a liquid mood lately. So these have gone off. I didn't finish them, so I don't get to buy them again. And this is another one of my favorite formulas. This is KVD, well, this is Kat Von D, because it's that old, uh, in the shade Damned. Um, again, a favorite formula, a favorite shade, but it's gone off, and I don't get to rebuy it because I didn't use it up. That's my rule for myself to keep the lipstick collection down. There's a few minor exceptions to that rule, but not a lot. This is Sonoma Sugar Vanilla Wax Cubes. This was passed on to me. And they're nice. I didn't get a ton of thrift from them, possibly because they're old. But it fell off the side of Alex's nightstand and the heating vent got to it, so like all melted down the bottom. So I just dumped the rest of it in the wax melter all at once. 
Alex, do you have opinions on this? Karen's loving on the dog. What's up? The sugared vanilla wax that I've had in the bedroom. It's usually been smelling pretty good in there. Like I said, my sense of smell is really gone this morning. So this isn't something I need to get. This is the pink AOA sponge. Um, like I said, those are awesome. I already have more of those. This was from, literally from the hospital when I had River. This is the Lansano HPA Lanolin. This is well expired and gone off, but this is really, really good stuff. Highly recommend. Don't need any more, obviously. Um, I think I actually pulled it out for one of the pets for their like um, scratch on their skin and it's gone off. Um, generic value products, powder lightener. It, it's just powder bleach for your hair. Um, Ro and I both use this, it works great. You mix it with developer and we've already got more. I think we've got two packets at the same time. Um, this is just a Costco ibuprofen. I'm on the second bottle. I need to get some more of these though because that was the last one. We go through ibuprofen a lot here. Uh, Christoph Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. This is like a scalp scrub. I got this for Alex and I'm really happy I got the travel size because you didn't like this, did you? Not really. But I mean, I did try it when I still had a bunch of hair, so. But you liked other stuff when you had more hair. Yeah, that's true. I like a drunk elephant. Yeah. So, I probably wouldn't buy this again. Roman was using this on their face. And they asked me to get it again, but honestly, I'm probably not going to. I usually get them whatever skin and hair care and body care they want, but this is sea salt, and you really don't need to be rubbing this on your face. You scratch it up, so I probably won't get it again. I mostly finish this off on my legs with, like, a body scrub, but not a thing we're going to get in this house. This is the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. Uh, this was really nice. I did like it. But it's not so amazing that I need to buy it again, especially at the price that it is. I got this on sale, but yeah, and it smells nice. But especially the price that it is, my skin felt nice afterwards, but it was nothing so astounding that it's like, I need to buy this again. Most masks for me are not. However, there's one I'm using right now that is. So I actually need to do a round of that tonight. Uh, this is the Trader Joe's Ultra Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. Ro and I both use this. This is my go-to daytime moisturizer. I love this stuff. Ro seems to really enjoy it too, but this was my bottle. Um, I think I already got a backup of this, but I gotta double check. I know I already have a new one open, but this is like a must-have. Okay, so I've got these Clean at Zero Cleansing Balms. This is the revitalizing one, and this is the nourishing one. Ro has said that they like these, but any cleansing balm is fine. It doesn't matter as long as there is a cleansing balm in the shower. We're good. Um, I like these too, but I didn't notice anything particularly special about these. Did you have opinions on these, dear? No. They're just kind of whatever, honestly. Okay. I really come to like the other stuff we've been using like uh, the african black soap the philosophy face wash and the whipped greens those are like my top three favorites philosophy yeah like a there's a philosophy face wash we had oh the purity one purity that was it wasn't it from philosophy brand mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's been a long time since you've used that so i'm surprised that you remembered it yeah it's I think it's a chemical exfoliant, but I mean, it's really, really good. These are... Oh, and the, um, sorry to interrupt you, and that CeraVe moisturizing cleanser. Yeah, and you also like THC cleansing oil. Yeah. These are Trader Joe's uh, hand creams. These are the little bitty ones from the advent calendars. This is from this year's, the grapefruit one. This was a really nice scent. I don't tend to buy hand creams. We still have a pile from when Alex was working at Walmart and touching a lot of cardboard so I'm working through those but I don't usually buy hand creams but this was a really nice scent I enjoyed this and Trader Joe's hand creams are really good and they are one I would immediately think to buy if I needed them I do keep a tube of it in the car I have a bit after work every day so. oh you do 
Yeah. But you really like the Bath and Body Works one. Yeah. I've got the really... I forget which one it is. It's like a really big table. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. That's this... from, I don't remember. I, I haven't looked at the label. I just know from looking at the general shape and color. Hey, this is what kept my hands from bleeding. This is from our previous advent calendar. This is Cherry Blossom. Um, I was expecting like Bath and Body Works Cherry Blossom, which is a floral scent that I like. No, this was like a cherry scent that smells like almond um, flavoring that you put in like food and stuff when you're baking. Mm. I hate that scent. I mm. loathe that scent. Your taste is terrible. Cherry is the best. Have you smelled almond extract? Yeah, I like it. I hate it. So like I got through this, but I would not buy it if they came out in this. I don't mind the taste of almond extract, but smelling it, it's just like I, I abhor that smell. So this was not a good smell for me. I must execute my wife. Um, this is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This is a little sample. I, I love this stuff. I would never buy this because it's stupid expensive. I do think I have the Trader Joe's Marula Oil, or I have some Trader Joe's Oil. I would buy that, in theory. I haven't used it yet to see if it's as good, but this stuff is really nice. My face loves it. I'm gonna keep this little bottle because I have two foil packets of the same thing that I'm gonna put in here. Yeah, this is good stuff. It's just overpriced. Bobby Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I've heard a lot of people talk about this and how amazing it is, but um, I didn't like this. I know, I think Tati really likes this, but like, I hated this. It made my makeup look horrible that day. I did not like this. Um, Aveda Rosemary Mint Purifying Shampoo. I also hated this. Um, it made my hair dry and tangled and frizzy and something else that I can't remember right now, but it was horrendous for my hair. So there was like, so my hair is down to here, it's long. So there was enough to do that and then there was probably enough left to do Alex's hair at the length it was. But after I used it, I just put the rest of it in Rumor's bath. Which it wasn't even enough to do a full bubble bath, but like this is horrible. I would never buy this. I have the conditioner that goes with it and I'll probably use that to like do a mask or something, but I would never buy this shampoo. This is horrible. Um, Makeup by Mario Master Matte Liquid Eyeliner in Super Black. I do have a couple more things for you to talk about, but I'm not there yet. Not right now. Um, this was nice. I got this because of Jen from Jen Loves. Again, it's a felt tip. However, <coughs> Layla, I did not ask your opinion. Sit down. So pause it, pause it, pause it. I don't know where I was before everybody descended. But this is the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Liquid Liner in Super Black. I got this because of Jen from Jen Loves. It is a felt tip. And I still don't like felt tips, but if I was forced to use a felt tip, this is the one I would pick. It's the best felt tip I've ever used. But I still much prefer brush liners, brush tips, and this is my last felt tip, and I'm so glad. And I wouldn't buy it again, but it's just not my style. It is a good liner, it's just not my thing. Um, Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. Go put your boots away. Um, Hannah from Hannah Lee's post in here on YouTube loves this. It is a really nice mascara. Um, one looks like that. It's really nice. I, I don't need to buy it again, but it was nice and I enjoyed it while I had it. Okay. <clears throat> I killed the foundation last month. Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade 102 Fair Porcelain. I know there's a tiny bit at the bottom, but this was old and it wouldn't pump out anymore. They've actually changed the packaging. This is one of my all-time favorite foundations. And like, it's so grody, you can tell. But, um, I killed foundation last year. I'm very proud of myself. I did buy a replacement, but it's in my backup drawer and I won't open it until I finish some more of the big pile that I have open. But yeah, this stuff's amazing, highly recommend. Um, normally I'm a pump and a half to two pumps on a sponge face repeat face kind of person. This is a one and a half pumps max on sponge one layer. And it's really good, full coverage matte. I, I love this, it's like an all time favorite. So happy I used it, happily bought a new one. 
Um, degree, min, motion sense, ultra clear, deodorant. I get big things of these things, yeah. though. Which I think I need to get one up soon. Because Alex and Rowan both use this now. Um, My father would like the offspring. The two of us, me and Alex at least, um, usually can only use deodorant brand and then we have to switch to a new brand and then a new brand each tube. This is the first one since we've been together that I've seen that Alex can use over and over and over again. Yeah, that works really well. And Costco has it on sale sometimes and they have big multi-packs, so. And if I forget to put it on, Shannon makes sure to tell me within a few hours. <laughs> she's, like, getting, like that? she's getting so used to me not stinking from wearing that. Um, but yeah, it's just that. And did you want to talk about this? Okay. Um, so that's just something I need to buy again? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, so that's it for this empties. I forgot that I was going to do my empties video after I did my Project Pan update, but there's a couple things that I used up for my Project Pan, but I had to do that update first, so I did make an empties video, but they'll be in the next one. I'm not the only one, whatever. I'm done. Y'all are probably <coughs> well over hearing me talk. So, questions, comments, opinions, let me know down below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!